Hello children how are you I hope you all are studying well and I hope that you've been reading new new books in English and also practicing your grammar skills and writing skills and listening skills as well very good children always do that because it will make you a pro in English and you can be a fluent a uh, speaker in English and you can write easily okay so start practicing English as much as possible okay so children do you think that only human beings have the knack to think or do you also feel that uh, maybe animals also can think let's read about this in this chapter so the chapter's name is do animals think let's see what the prologue has to say it says for a long time many abilities were thought and attributed exclusively to humans but in the last few years we have come across many new findings that support the idea that animals are indeed capable of thinking some of them have advanced abilities to think and reason but it is quite limited as compared to humans let us read more about it so bachcho aapko kya lagta hai do animals have that capability to think do you have they have do you think they have the ability so let's look into this chapter to find out maine to ye bhi suna hai ki uh, when we are sad if we have a pet dog at home they understand our feeling okay and then they know that we are sad and they will always come and sit next to us quietly okay they will not pester us they will be quiet with us some animals do cry also like uh, we have seen emotions of pet dogs also where they have showed emotions by crying also so animals do understand things around us so let's read this chapter and find out what the story is about but before that warm up can you think or guess what animals think or if they are happy or sad when you interact with them let's look at this let's read this story and find out kanzi loves orange juice bananas and coffee with milk whatever he wants he generally gets he has learned more than 200 words and has attained the mental development of a 2 and a half year old child kanzi also understands what he is told even if he hears it on the telephone it may be surprising to hear that kanzi is a young bonobo a pygmy chimpanzee who lives in captivity at the language research center of the university of georgia in the united states of america so this uh, story this chapter is about kanzi okay who loves orange juice bananas coffee with milk एंड उसके पास ऐसे स्किल्स आए हैं ऐसे स्किल्स डेवलप हुए हैं जो एक दो ढाई साल के बच्चे में होते हैं ओके वो सुन सकता है और समझ सकता है जब वो फ़ोन पे फ़ोन आता है वो फ़ोन उठाता है उसको सब समझ में आता है कि क्या बोला जा रहा है ओके एंड नाउ दिस कांजी इज एक्चुअली अ बोनोबो विच इज़ अ पिगमी चिम्पैनजी और ये रहता है लैंग्वेज रिसर्च सेंटर एट द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ जॉर्जिया इन United States of America. Okay, here scientist Susan Savage Rumbach heads a team who lives and works with Kanzi. If he becomes ill, they even sleep with him. So Susan and her team, okay, are taking care of Kanzi and using him for their researches. Okay, the research that they are doing, they're using him for their research. But at the same time, they're giving him all the love and care possible. Okay. This remarkable primate communicates with his human companions by pointing to symbols on a console where each symbol stands for a word. Okay? Like all monkeys, Kanzi cannot speak, but thanks to this system, he can form simple but meaningful sentences by pressing a sequence of two or two three words on the console. Okay? But does this prove that Kanzi is intelligent? क्या आपको लगता है कि अगर कॉन्जी अपने जो इमोशंस को एक्सप्रेस करने के लिए कॉन्सोल का यूज़ करता है और उस पर दो तीन वर्ड्स के हेल्प से अपने इमोशंस जो अपने दिमाग में चल रहा है वो बया कर पा रहा है डू यू थिंक दैट मंकीज और दीज चिम्पैंस आर रियली सो इंटेलिजेंट कैन दे रियली डू दैट ओके इट इज़ डिफिकल्ट टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन कॉन्जी इज़ अनलाइकली टू प्रोग्रेस वेरी मच फर्दर इन दिस डायरेक्शन 
his vocabulary will stay more or less the same and his capacity for thought will certainly never reach the level of a human okay kitni bhi koshish karenge to bhi jo human beings ki level hoti hai thinking ki udhar tak to wo nahi pahunch sakta humans still struggle to find a complete definition of intelligence according to experts in this field the ability to think includes such essential aspects as memory attention logic the ability to judge how much space there is between things and the command of language it is clear though that a few animals do display startling evidence of something resembling intelligence so it is very difficult ki human being ka jo level hai of intelligence wo abhi tak hum khud bhi nahi pehchan pate hain but for animals it's going to be very difficult because human beings ke intelligence mein there are so many aspects that are taken into consideration jaise hamari memory ho gayi hamare attention skills ho gaye hamara logic use karne ka skill ho gaya हमारा एबिलिटी टू जज है हम लोगों को जज कर पाते हैं थिंग्स को जज कर पाते हैं कि यू नो थिंग्स के बीच में कितनी स्पेस होनी चाहिए या जो लैंग्वेज है उस पर हमारी कमांड होते हैं डू यू थिंक दैट दी एनिमल्स आर केपेबल ऑफ डूइंग दैट सो इट इज़ क्लियर दैट ऑल दो दे कैन दे हैव स्टार्टेड शोइंग द एविडेंस हैज स्टार्टेड शोइंग दैट दे कैन बट इट इज़ नॉट टोटली हैपनिंग ओके द टोटल इंटेलिजेंस थिंग विल नॉट हैपन सो सून For example, when the Egyptian vulture wants to open an ostrich egg, it picks up a stone in its beak and drops it on the egg to crack the thick shell. Another example is the salmon. Okay, after several years in the open sea, the salmon uses its homing instinct to return to the same river in which it was born in order to breed. So. ऑल दो ये रिजेम्बलेंसेस देखे गए हैं एविडेंस मिल रहा है कि उनको भी वो भी सोच सकते हैं या उनको भी चीज़ें याद रहती है ओके okay? जैसे एग्जाम्पल में जो इजिप्शियन वल्चर होते हैं इफ दे वॉन्ट टू ओपन एन ऑस्ट्रिच एग ऑस्ट्रिच का अंडा बहुत बड़ा होता है अगर उनको वो खोलना होता है वल्चर्स को तो वो क्या करते हैं एक स्टोन लेके है और अपने बीक से उस स्टोन को उस एग पे डाल के उसको फोड़ देते हैं और उसका जो थिक शेल होता है उसको क्रैक कर देते हैं और वैसे ये सामन जो होता है फिश होता है वो क्या करता है कि अगर वो बहुत सा आप देखते हो फिश इज आर ऑलवेज मूविंग बट दिस पर्टिकुलर फिश वॉट हैपन्स विद दिस फिश इज दैट इट ऑलवेज कम्स बैक टू द रिवर जहाँ पे वो बॉर्न हुए थे उसी रिवर पे वो आते हैं ब्रीड करने के लिए ओके दे हैव दैट होमिंग इंस्टिंक्ट कि कम बैक टू देयर होम टू ब्रीड दैट इज वॉट द इंस्टिंक्ट इज वॉट दे हैव okay so now let's track your performance for that what do you have to do you have to answer these simple simple questions okay so in the west african country of ivory coast the abilities of chimpanzees are even more impressive since the nuts that form the major part of their diet have extremely hard shells these primates use granite stones to crack them open if they have to carry the stone a short distance then the chimpanzees will choose the heavier stones but over long distances they will choose the lighter stones so that they will not tire themselves out so ye jo ivory coast pe west african country ke ivory coast pe jo chimpanzees rehte hain okay wo kafi had tak impressive hai matlab they are thinking capacity a capability has been quite impressive to wo kya karte hain un आपको तो पता है कि इनके डाइट का सबसे बड़ा हिस्सा होता है नट्स ओके दे ईट अ लॉट ऑफ नट्स तो उस नट्स के भी जो शेल्स होते वो हार्ड होते तो ये क्या करते हैं जो ग्रेनाइट के स्टोन्स होते हैं ना उसका इस्तेमाल करते हैं एंड देन दे यूज इट टू ब्रेक द शेल ऑफ द नट्स तो वो क्या करते हैं अगर उनको शॉर्ट डिस्टेंस पे स्टोन्स को लेके जाना होता है तो वो हैवी वाले स्टोन्स लेते हैं बट लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस के लिए व्हाट विल दे डू दे विल यूज द लाइटर स्टोन्स सो दैट इट इज इजियर फॉर देम टू कैरी द अटेम्प्ट्स ऑफ द चिम्पैनजी टू कंजर्व इट्स स्ट्रेंथ शोज दैट द एनिमल इज ऑब्वियसली मेकिंग यूज ऑफ इट्स जजमेंट द चिम्पैनजीज एबिलिटीज आर नॉट दैट सरप्राइजिंग वेन वी कंसिडर दैट ऑफ द गोरेलाज एंड ओरंगटन्स chimpanzee are our closest living relatives in the evolutionary scale from a very young age these animals learn much faster than human babies they can learn to eat with a spoon use a screw driver and even ride a bicycle with training apes could become like humans 
However, when they become older, they become more aggressive and adult chimpanzees, especially the males, become dangerous to humans. So, these chimpanzees are skills hote, they are much much better than the skills of gorillas and orangutans. Okay? Or the chimpanzees jo hote hai, if uh, we compare them with human babies, they are more faster learners. Okay? They can do things uh, in a more faster way and a better way. So, we say that we have the, the human beings have the evolution of human beings has happened from the apes. Okay? So, kahi hat tak to, kahi hat tak to, wo bhi such ho sakta hai ki shayad se aise hamari growth hui hai. But, ye jab chimpanzees jab hote hai, jo jab chote hote, tabhi wo kafi intelligent hote hai, kafi brave hote hai. But, jaise jaise wo bade ho jate hai, vaise vaise they become dangerous. Okay? And when they become old, they are very dangerous, they are furious, okay? We uh, cannot go close to them, they will hurt us, okay? Or jo adult chimpanzees hote, wo zyada dangerous hote humans ke liye. At a research station for marine animals in Hawaii, two dolphins perform a series of acrobatic feats. These antics are even more remarkable because these intelligent creatures have developed the routine themselves with a little help from their human trainer. With their heads out of the water, they watch the movements of the trainer who signals the word tandem to them. Then he throws up his arms to mean creative. Immediately, the two dolphins dive to the bottom of the pool and together they leap out of the water in a fountain of spray and spit out a mighty jet of water before disappearing into the water again. Okay, together. So, ye Hawaii mein marine animals pe jab research, jo research station hai, waha pe observe kiya hai ki ye jo do dolphins hai waha pe, okay, they have shown lot of acrobatic feats. Okay, acrobatics jo hote, uska unho ne kaafi at tak wo uh, dikhaya hai ki how they do it, how they perform it. So, but they have got a training. Human trainers hote hai, jo train karte hai unko. Agar aap bhi, koi uh, koi foreign countries mein, they have trainers who train the animals and then they have these animal shows and all. So, this is all based on the training that they have got and they have registered that portion of the training. So, यहाँ पे भी उनको training मिलती है जो जैसे ही वो जो trainer होता है उसके movements को वो track करते हैं वो tandem बोलते ही ये दोनों क्या करते हैं they pool के अंदर वो एकदम से नीचे तक डूब जाते हैं और वहाँ से bottom of the pool से वो कूद के ऊपर आ जाते हैं और एक fountain spit out कर देते हैं okay which is like a mighty jet of water and then they disappear in the water again together okay many people would say that dolphins were trained to do this. It is true that the trick is performed at the command of the trainer, but the details are left to the dolphins. It is they who have choreographed the number. Okay? They have to communicate with each other so that they can swim together, swallow water and spit it out at the same time. So, if we assume that intelligence is closely related to the ability to understand a situation and react, then these dolphins are very talented. देखो एक ट्रेनर जो होता है वो सिर्फ ट्रेन कर सकता है बट उसको इंप्लीमेंट करना उसको रियलिटी में लाना इज आवर ओन टैलेंट राइट दिस इज एप्लीकेबल टू ह्यूमंस आल्सो इन द सेम वे ओके टू एक्चुअली पुट इट इन प्लेस टू एक्चुअली पुट इट इन प्रैक्टिस व्हाट दे हैव लर्न ओके दैट इज कंप्लीटली अ स्किल ऑफ द डॉल्फिंस टू कम टुगेदर टू स्पिट आउट द वाटर टुगेदर ओके टू स्प्लैश द वाटर टुगेदर इट इज ऑल द स्किल ऑफ द Dolphins. So, we can say that they are really very talented, okay, that they are doing such a spectacular presentation in front of us. Okay? Although less spectacular, the behavior of other animals is also very interesting. Okay? An American scientist who has specialized in the study of chickens has observed that a rooster in a chicken coop will not only announce to the hens with his clucking that there is something to eat. But by varying his calls, he will offer comments on how interesting the food is. Okay? So, this is a study in the uh, US okay, by a scientist who has 
चिकन्स के इसमें स्पेशलाइज किया है जहाँ पे उसने ऑब्जर्व किया है कि जो एक रूस्टर होता है जो चिकन कूप में रहता है वो क्या करता है वो हैंड्स को अनाउंस करता है जब खाना सर्व किया जाता है तभी वो अनाउंस करता है ओके okay? और इतना ही नहीं वो अपने कमेंट्स के जरिए उनको ये भी बताता है कि कितना इंटरेस्टिंग खाना है ओके इन ऑर्डर टू टेस्ट दिस थियोरी द साइंटिस्ट फेड हिज चिकन अ डेली डाइट ऑफ वर्म्स पीज एंड पीनट्स When the rooster saw the first two foods, he called to the hens with short, quick clucks, and they immediately came running. But if the chickens were given only peanuts, the rooster let out a slow cluck of disappointment, and only half the hens reacted at all. So, the scientist ne kya kya study karne ke liye usne three tarike ka khana diya. Ek hota hai worms. दूसरा पीस और तीसरा पीनट्स ओके जब उसने वर्म्स और पीस को सर्व किया तो जो रूस्टर होता है उसने आ, ऐसा साउंड किया ओके ही मेड सच अ साउंड विच वॉज लाइक अ शॉर्ट क्विक क्लक दैट ऑल द चिकन स्केम रनिंग बट जब पीनट्स सर्व हो गए सिर्फ पीनट्स तब उसने एक डिसअपॉइंटमेंट शो की अपनी क्लक में और सिर्फ आधे हैंड्स आ गए थे वहाँ पर Scientists are yet to find another species with the same capacity for logic and reasoning as human beings, but they have found enough evidence to prove that certain species do have a limited capacity for logic and reasoning, and that is a topic that requires further study if we are to understand our world better. ओके सो ऑल दो साइंटिस्ट इस चीज़ पे रिसर्च कर रहे हैं कि ह्यूमन बींग्स से ज़्यादा इंटेलिजेंट कौन हो सकता है हु कैन बी मोर इंटेलिजेंट ओके हु कैन हैव द मोर हु कैन हैव मोर पावर ओके और स्ट्रेंथ टू थिंक लॉजिकली टू रीजन आउट थिंग्स ओके दे हैव फाउंड दैट देर इज एन एविडेंस दैट दे कैन फाइंड समबडी बेटर बट दे हैव स्टिल नॉट found that person who is better and they are going to study further and they are going to try everything possible to find out okay so now i hope children this chapter has given you a lot of knowledge about the animals okay the kingdom of animals so quickly reread this chapter learn their difficult words look at the meanings of the important words and don't forget to do the back exercises <laughs>